Peace everyone and welcome back to Bouch. Thanks for tuning in again. It feels so good to me to be back in front of the camera and to see all your smiling faces. I hope all of you are doing well wherever you are in the world in this crazy time. But stay positive friends. Let's talk about some positive kitesurfing stuff and let's jump straight into the tutorial. There's a few questions I get asked all the time. Ben, do you think I can learn that trick? Ben, do you think I'm ready for that trick? Friends, here comes a message that goes out to every kiteboarder out there. Your limitation is set by your mind, not by your body. The question you should ask yourself is no longer if you can do it. The question you should ask yourself is how you will do it. And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about after the intro. In following, I will explain you guys how I'm learning a new trick. My goal is to give you a instructional that allows you to reach every trick you want to learn. No joke. As tutorial example, I've chosen a front blind with a tail grab, simply because I've got tons of footage. Keep it out the way trail. Really I just see it, I call it. I never wanna switch, I kept it solid. If I'm anything, I'm real. Really I just see it, I call it. Never wanna switch, I kept it solid, nigga. Fuck the way you feel. Really I just see it, I call it. Never wanna switch, I kept it solid, and it is what it is. Really I just see it, I call it. Never wanna switch, I kept it solid. Your first step should be to split the trick in its segments. What segments do we have in a front blind with a tail grab, for example? The first segment is a front rotation. The second segment is a tail grab. And the third segment is a 180 degrees backside rotation. If you visualize all these tricks, you start to feel the movement. What you basically do is taking out complexity and splitting a big goal into several small goals. Your second step will be to learn every segment separately. That could look somehow like that. After you've been crashing hundreds of times, you will think, fuck you Ben, your tutorials are total garbage. Take it easy, don't drop the bar yet, you are that close of nailing it, just go over to step number three. It's time to analyze what you're doing and what you've teached yourself. Therefore, it helps a lot to have someone filming your attempts from the beach. In our frontline tail grab example, I think I know already what might went wrong. In 90% of all cases, people can't lock the bar to their hip while grabbing the board and that simply cuts off the last 180 degrees backside rotation. Take that segment only and train it separately. Once again, take out complexity. An exercise to train locking the bar while grabbing the board could look somehow like that. And here we go, put all these segments together and stomp the Keep it out the way trail, really I just see it, I call it I never wanna switch, I kept it solid, if I'm anything I'm real Really I just see it, I call it, I never wanna switch, I kept it solid Nigga, fuck the way you feel, really I just see it, I call it I never wanna switch, I kept it solid, and it is what it is Really I just see it, I call it, I never wanna switch, I kept it solid As I said already, that training strategy is something you can add on every trick you wanna learn the key is to take out complexity and reach a big goal by reaching several small goals. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Peace!